Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Meniere's Disease Warrior. How y'all doing? I'm actually doing great um, compared to the way I've been for the last two or three weeks. Um, you know, still cough a little bit and that stuff, but I can deal with it. And right, remember, there's only one more day before Christmas, so if you haven't done your Christmas shopping yet, better go now. And if you're thinking about ordering on Amazon, you ain't getting it till Friday. So, <laughs> it's really not what I wanted to do this video about. It was actually like a two-parter. And the first one I'm going to start with is I've been seeing a lot of posts of people going to the emergency room. Um, now, if you've diagnosed with many years and you don't have rescue meds um, from your doctor or um, you know, you're waiting to see an ENT, um, but you're still, you don't have these rescue meds, Sure, going to the emergency room is great because you, you don't want to dehydrate. You don't want to make things worse. Um, but remember something. If you're waiting for a diagnosis, the emergency room is not going to diagnose you. Um, they're going to refer you to um, an ENT, otolaryngologist, neuroautologist. They're going to refer you to somebody to see. Okay, they're not going to diagnose you um, because, frankly, they don't know. <laughs> Um, you know, most emergency room doctors um, deal with a lot of things. Not They don't specialize in one thing. So, most of them don't know anything about the ear. They know they know what an ear infection looks like. Uh, that's about it. You know, and they know about the crystals. But they don't know about, you know, vestibular migraine, um, Meniere's disease, MDDS, um, uh, you know, all these things. They don't know. So... Don't expect them to diagnose you. <laughs> okay, because I suppose that they didn't even really give me a diagnosis. Well, they're not going to. <laughs> First off, they don't have the time to run all those tests. Second, they really don't know what they're talking about. You don't want to see somebody like that. You want to see an ENT. You want to see an uh, otolaryngologist. You want to see a neuroentomologist. You know, those are the people you want to see, you know, not the ER doctor. Uh, so, um, you know, and some primary cares, the actual doctors actually do know a lot about the ear, surprisingly. Um, but the second thing, and it's the main thing of the video, is I'm seeing posts from people, um, and it's not just one, it's a few, and it's just, you know, I thought this was a support group, and you're supposed to make people happy, why are we putting people down, blah, 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 and, and there's nothing wrong with that post, it's absolutely correct, because, like I said, I moderate one of the, the top, the biggest groups, and some people in the group actually think they're doctors. Um, I've seen them tell people they don't have Meniere's. I've seen these people tell them, you know, try to diagnose them with something else. Um, or basically talk down like they know everything. Okay, listen. You don't know everything. Okay? You're not a doctor. I don't care what anybody says. Well, doctor, we know more than the doctors do. Well, we might know more about our own bodies and stuff like that than the doctors do but the doctors know more about Meniere's disease and any vestibular issue more than we do okay they went to college for eight years two years specialized two year resident two year you know whatever they put a lot of time into it so stop acting like you're a doctor who's had no medical attempt no medical studies and the only thing you know is what you've seen on on google okay um, you know, and, 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 you know, it's one of those strange diseases, Meniere's, that not everything works for everybody. Some people that, uh, John's, Ohio, John of Ohio Regiment, oh, I think that's what it's called, that works for some people. Okay? Don't put it down. It works for some people. You could say, hey, it works for some people, but it didn't work for me. And that's what I do. But when I say, like the... There was a question today about Avaclor, Avaclor, you know, one of the antivirals for Meniere's disease. You know, yeah, it, I've taken it. It didn't work for me, but it works for some people, you know, because that's the way it is. All right. It does work for some people. So you can't put down everything. Now, the Dr. Dingle Balls people that you see out there that are selling the herbs from Nigeria, and they can only get them from China, and it's a remote part of China. That's a scam, okay? Are there herbs that you can, that will help you? Sure, there are. Ginger, things like that, turmeric. And these are all things you can get at a store locally. Um, or, you know, a local store that deals with herbs. There are legit people that, that are herbalists. 
but they're not the ones advertising on Facebook, uh, on these support groups. They're not. Those are the Dr. Dingleballs people. <laughs> okay. These are real people who really are trained in er herbs and, and things like that and what can help you. So, yeah, you know, the big thing is stop putting, stop acting like a bunch of doctors. It's not helping people. You know, the one, you know, and stop talking about things you don't know about. That's the other thing that irritates me. And I can tell when somebody doesn't know about something like that. Okay. And it doesn't matter what the subject, the subject could be baseball. And I could tell somebody's bullshitting me. So, you know, the thing is, is that don't. Okay. Don't put people down. Don't diagnose people. Don't. Support groups are there for support, to help each other, to build each other, you know. Sure, you're going to see a lot of things where people just look up stuff on Google and say, oh, well, this is what I found. Okay, it happens, but it's helpful because a lot of people don't, you know, people, a lot of older folk, I should say, older than me, <laughs> okay, I'm 57, they don't even know what Google is, you know, they think Google is something they go on to play Wordle, okay, or to, you know, watch a video or, or something like that. They don't really know the, <laughs> the expansion of Google. So, um, for something like that, you know, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But I, but I do know what you're saying. A lot of people think they're smarter than doctors because they did a 15-minute Google search. And they're basically repeating what they found on Google. So, you know, I, I, I talk about my experiences. And what works for me? What doesn't work for me? What has been helping me? Um, like I said before, the antihistamine um, Claritin has been helping me tremendously. So I'm still taking that once, once a day. And I, I'm, if I don't have a cold from one of my grandchildren, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm actually, well, today I'm a little floaty, but I think that's just the recovery of the virus, um, infections that I had lately. But... I'm still going to go finish, do what I would normally do on a Saturday, record mass and do all that stuff. But I wanted to make this video because I really felt bad for one person who made that made a post. And, it, it, and her post was correct. It really was. Because there's too many people, too many people putting each other down, acting like they know more, acting like they're smarter. You know, anybody can be a keyboard warrior. But remember something. If you're going to write something... Would you say it to their face? No. Because you wouldn't say that to their face because they'd probably punch you. But, you know, behind a keyboard, you can be anybody you want. And that's, that's bad. So, you know what? If you're going to give advice, that's great. But do it in a way that it doesn't make it sound like, you know, the person who's asking the question is an idiot. Or... Or degrading them, telling them that they, well, you don't have Meniere's disease. Uh, Meniere's disease is in different forms, too. you got to remember something. Huey Lewis never had vertigo. Or he might have had a slight touch of it. He lost his hearing and had the, all that stuff. Some people have Meniere's disease without vertigo. And some people have Meniere's disease without being deaf or have tinnitus, but they get the vertigo. So th th there's... there's Typical and atypical, okay? So if somebody says, geez, I, I can't hear, but the di doctor diagnosed me with, all the, with Meniere's disease, but I don't get vertical, don't you tell them that they don't have Meniere's disease because you don't know. And yes, a lot of people, Meniere's disease does mimic other things and is part, it can be misdiagnosed, you know? But you know what? Everything, almost everything today can be misdiagnosed because they've made it down to, you know... You know, right down to this level, you know. So it's 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 pretty it's pretty it's a pretty good way to people. You know, diagnoses are really good, but there are people that have been diagnosed with Meniere's twenty years ago. Now come and find out they they don't have Meniere's; they have something else. So it it's it's very great the way the medical you know the medical uh, people have become. But the other thing too is you got to understand is doctors make mistakes. We they're human, they're smart people. But they're human. So next time you think um, you're going to try to be smarter than everybody else, the 35,000, 45,000 people in a group with Meniere's, don't. Don't, don't do that. 
Because the person who, who originally made, posted a question, you're going to make them feel about that big. Don't do it. We want to build people up. We want to make people happier. Make people have to be, be able to function better and make their lives better. Not tear them down when they're looking at four walls all day. Okay, and on that note, hey guys, hey, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it, Kwanzaa. Um, Happy New Year if I don't make another video, but I probably will. Um, and there are better days coming. And to the person who, one of the peop people that I've seen these posts, the post is 100% correct and people shouldn't be doing what they're doing. You should be supporting people in a positive way, not a negative way, and acting as if they're doctors. You're 100% correct. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.